हेलो स्टूडेंट्स यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम हियर इन द फिफ्थ पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो ऑफ द करेंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ऑफ द फिजिक्स राइट माय एम इज टू डिस्कस ईच चैप्टर्स ईच पैरामीटर ऑफ द करेंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सो दैट आई कैन प्रोवाइड यू ए बेटर आइडिया अबाउट द करेंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी राइट हियर आई विल टॉक अबाउट द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग ऑफ द करेंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी विच पजल्स फ्यू स्टूडेंट्स राइट दैट इज EMF एम एफ एंड टर्मिनल वोल्टेज ओके एंड इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ ए सेल ओके तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम ड्रॉइंग ए सेल दैट वी सी इन आवर डे टू डे लाइफ ओके दिस इज सिंपल सेल which we buy from the market i am trying to show you the actual construction here okay like this these are the two electrodes the outer uh, container serves as a electrode and the central placed material also acts as an electrode right so there are two electrodes one is anode and the other is cathode here this one is cathode and this one is anode and in between these two electrodes electrolyte like ammonium chloride is filled okay so uh, an electric cell maintains the constant difference of potential between these two electrodes okay because of that difference in potential between these two electrodes there remains an electromotive force inside the cell which causes the flow of current when the two electrodes that mean two terminal of a cell is connected with an any external circuit like lamp okay so how this emf come into existence let us see in more depth right when an electrolyte kept between two electrodes so what happens it dissociates that means it breaks out into positive and negative ion right positive and negative ion i am only showing this two one but there remains many numbers of the ion right so these are the active ionized particle so what they try to do they travel towards the electrodes to get neutralized to get the stable condition okay so this positive ions travels towards the negative uh, term negative electrode that means which have a higher uh, quantity of the electrons so that they uh, combines with the electron that means they import or receive the electron to get neutralized similarly the negative ions travels towards the positive plates and they donate the electrons to the electrode thereby getting into neutralized condition right so in this process the difference in the concentration of electrons are created between these two electrodes right due to this an electromotive force comes into the cell due to that internal force there become a potential difference between these two electrodes when it is connected with any external device okay so what is emf and what is terminal voltage let me clarify you first okay i always uh, explained in the previous part of the video that conductor or anything have a resistance okay there is no any conductors which is ideal that means which have zero resistance okay similarly the cell has also an internal resistance we represent it with a small r right and there is a emf force when this cell is connected with a lamp i am showing here suppose this is a torch lamp and we are connecting this with this cell like this okay and if we measure the potential difference across this lamp so we will get a 
value which will be less than the EMF right suppose the EMF of the cell that is written is 1.5 volt so here we will get uh, 1.2 volt or less or 1.3 volt maybe the difference 1.5 volt minus 1.2 volt that is 0 0.3 volt is dropped into the internal resistance of the cell this cell can be represented with this symbol okay this is a cell with internal resistance r okay and the emf of the cell is 1.5 volt right this resistance is the internal resistance of the cell if a torch lamp is connected with this cell like this and a current will flow through it and there will be a ir drop across this resistance this ir drop is this one okay because of this the potential difference across this lamp will be 1.2 volt okay just i am telling for example here right so this is the terminal voltage right and this is the emf of the cell and this one is the internal resistance okay suppose this is the cell i am again showing the cell here okay i am trying to say the emf and terminal voltage concept in another way okay i am not drawn any circuit here and this is the a cell which you have bought from the market okay suppose the cell is kept here alone and nothing is connected across the cell that means the potential difference which is inside the cell if we measure with a voltmeter okay so we will find the emf of the cell that will be 1.5 volt and this condition is called open circuit okay open circuit means nothing is connected across this cell that means there is no lamp there is no resistance there is no load connected across this cell that is called open circuit condition right that means there is no any circuit with this cell so the open circuit voltage of the cell is the emf okay uh, i think it is clear and if this cell is connected with a lamp okay so this is the closed circuit condition this is called closed circuit okay ckt in a small we write so if we measure the potential difference at this condition either across the cell or across the uh, either across the lamp or across the cell we will get a value less than 1.5 suppose we get 1.2 volt here right so this is the terminal voltage okay terminal voltage of the cell so at open circuit condition we get the emf and at the closed circuit condition we get the terminal voltage i think now it is clear okay